Hi guys, it's Lindsay, aka Makeup and Mobility, a channel where we like to focus on makeup and disability advocacy. If you like that idea, please stick around and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Today's video is going to be in response to my last video, which was my mental health story. And if you guys have not seen that video, I will leave that video link down below because this video is going to make a ton more sense if you watch that video first. <laughs> and it's going to be the eight lessons I've learned since I last attempted. Today is actually the one year anniversary of my last attempt. And I wanted to do the eight lessons I've learned since I last attempted. So thank you guys so much for watching. And lesson number one is the people that are there for you in your toughest moments are going to be there for you for life. You guys know who you are and I'm grateful and thankful. And I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I can't thank you guys enough for taking on this journey with me and being there throughout my toughest moments. Lesson number two, kind of the opposite of that, is you can't trust everyone you come in contact with. There are people that I thought I could trust with my mental health story who are no longer speaking to me for various reasons. Lesson number three, and this is a lesson I learned from RuPaul, is you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else. Can I get an amen up in here? I wish you guys could come watch me live. <laughs> but you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else. So this entire journey has been a journey of discovering myself and loving myself for who I am. Lesson number four is you have to be comfortable within your own skin and with every single part of yourself. And it's okay to not, to, it's okay to be who you are and not hide yourself from everyone. That's a lesson I'm still learning and I wanted to include in this video. Let, Lesson number five, you have to find coping skills that work for you. For instance, I'm a very tactile person. I like feeling things. I like rubbing on things. I like, I'm a very texture driven person. So for instance, I use a lot of blankets. I have a punching bag back in my background. You guys can't see it because of my head. Um, but I have a punching bag back in my background uh, that I use for my anger issues because a lot of my mental health issues come out in anger. Um, and so I use that as one of my coping skills. You have to mind coping skills that will work for you. Lesson number six is sometimes dogs are the best emotional support in animals. And I cannot thank my dog enough for being with me as long as she has being my best emotional support animal. She's not technically certified but she has been my biggest four-legged rock throughout this entire journey. Lesson number six. And probably the biggest lesson out of, well, not the biggest lesson, but the most important lesson as you see the crosses in my background, is God put you on this earth for a reason. I don't know what that reason is. Like I said, I've, I'm still here for a reason. 
And I think that reason is to spread awareness about mental health issues. And the biggest lesson out of this video, the final lesson out of this video, is lesson number eight. It's okay not to be okay. It's okay to seek help. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to admit you struggle. I was a silent struggler for, I have suffered in silence for many, many years. So it's okay not to be okay. And I hope you guys understand that. If you need any help, call 988. They are one of the many reasons why I'm still here today. I love you guys. Find beauty and advocacy and keep rolling on. Thank you guys so much for listening. Bye.